I'm Nicole Romeo reporting for the Bay Times and Record Observer. I'm here with Brittany Thomas from the Board of Elections, who is here to discuss the upcoming election. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Nicole. How and where does someone register to vote? We have several options for people to register to vote. We have now an online system where people can register at our website at www.qacelections.com. We also have in-person where they can come to the office. We're located at 132 North Commerce Street in Centerville. And then you can mail it to us at P.O. Box 274, Centerville, Maryland. Can someone still change their party affiliation or update their address or personal information before the election? Yes, all that can be done online as well. The same forms that are used to register can be used to change your address information, update or change your party affiliation, and that information can be done online, mailed in, or dropped off in person. There is a deadline for that, and all the changes are June 3rd of this year at 9 p.m. The office will be open for any registrations and any changes to party affiliation. And how long does someone have to uh, live in the county or in the state before they are eligible to vote here? You can register as soon as you move here. If you move after the deadline, you can actually come to a polling place and vote in a provisional ballot where it's actually a registration form. So if you were here prior to June 3rd, then you need to register and you can do that at MVA. Um, when you change your driver's license, if you're getting a driver's license. So anytime before June 3rd, a person can register, even if you move here that day. Okay. And um, after someone registers, where and when can they vote? Uh, we have several options for voting. Again, uh, early voting is going to have, we're going to have two early voting sites in Queen Anne's County. We will have uh, the Kramer Center, which we had in the past for Centerville, and there's also a new option of Ken Island Library. Uh, early voting is open June 12th through June 19th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, another option that we have is absentee ballots. Uh, they are available to be mailed to any address that you give us, and you can apply for those, download the form, mail it in. We can mail you one if you call us. and. Those uh, requests need to be in to us by June 17th in order for us to mail them out. Otherwise, they need to be done in person or with what we call an agent, someone doing it for you. And when is the actual primary? Tuesday, June 24th. The polls on Election Day open at 7 a.m. and they close at 8 p.m. And we have 15 voting locations across Queen Anne's County for that day. If someone's registered a Democrat or Republican, can they vote for candidates with no party affiliation, like the Board of Education candidates? Uh, the Board of Education candidates will appear on all of our ballot styles. We have three for this election. We have a Democrat, a Republican, and a nonpartisan, which only has the Board of Ed candidates. The Democrat and Republican will have the county commissioner races as well as all the state races that are on the ballots. And those are broken down by districts and the districts can be voted by everyone in the county. Okay, so that leads me to my next question. Um, so everyone can vote for all the candidates in all the districts and at the, the at-large candidates and not just the candidates representing their district? Exactly, so if you live in Ken Island, you will be voting on a candidate for commissioner from the at-large district and one, two, and three, as well as four where you live. So yes, everyone in Queen Anne's County votes or has an opportunity to vote for all of the commissioner candidates from every district. And is there a website that I can access for more information? Yes, you can go to our website, which is www.qacelections.com to get information on how to register online, how to update your information, find your polling place, and even see sample ballots. Okay, thank you, and thank you again for joining us and sharing all this information with us about voting. My pleasure.